This is the Iowa Weather Report for Tuesday, August 19th, 2014. And now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, we have a system moving through the western Great Lakes. A little bit of a northwesterly flow coming in from the Dakotas and southern Canada. That's with the system that will be pulling away from the state, taking a few showers and thunderstorms along with it. Could see some early day showers in our eastern counties. Otherwise, we'll see mostly sunny skies thereafter. Highs won't be much cooler. Highs still remaining in the 80s across the state. Then we go into Wednesday tomorrow. We see another system approaching from the west. Could see some isolated activity in our far western counties. But most places should remain dry with partly to mostly sunny skies. Highs in the 80s to lower 90s. That system moves across the state mainly Wednesday night into very early Thursday. Outside of a few early day showers, then skies should turn partly sunny once again. Readings still remaining in the 80s to around 90. That system stays just to the north of the state. Could clip our northern counties, especially from Highway 20 north with some showers and storms. Otherwise, some sunshine still around. Hazy, humid, highs well into the 80s and even some 90s. You can see that low pressure center moves up to the northeast into southern Canada. Saturday looks to be fairly dry. Can't rule out an isolated shower or storm, about a 20% crack. Highs mainly in the 80s to low 90s. And that should be the case again here on Sunday. You can see that low up to near James and Hudson Bay. You can see the frontal system dragging across the state with some showers and thunderstorms. It looks to be mainly in the afternoon and evening. That front then moves slowly through into southern Iowa here on Monday. Some cooler air trying to come in with this high pressure over Saskatchewan and Manitoba. But it's not going to really win the fight because, as you can see, the flow is west to east here by next Tuesday. So that front will not be able to get much further south with this ridge over the southern tier of the, the country. So you'll see here by next Tuesday, this front will slowly lift back up. And could see a disturbance riding along it, so we could see showers and thunderstorms once again. It's a bit early to say if this will come true, but we'll have a couple of days to watch it. Speaking of a couple days, a couple days after this, on August the 30th, we have pretty much a zonal flow, a little bit of a trough over the east, a very flat trough. The ridge, 588 ridge, hanging tough over the far southern tier and into the desert southwest. See a high pressure over the central and eastern Great Lakes. Round it, southerly winds pumping up Gulf moisture once again, so we could see some showers if this is right toward the end of the month of August. And then as we go into September here, September the 3rd, we have a disturbance moving through Minnesota and Wisconsin. The main storm track, though, is moving back into Canada again, and this means temperatures will warm back up again, maybe back into the 80s. But some shower and thunderstorm chances are possible as well with this disturbance moving through. Otherwise, some scattered showers in the southeast, the desert southwest, and over the Pacific Northwest as well. Satellite image from last evening, we had a complex of showers and thunderstorms across Wisconsin into northern Iowa. Some severe weather with that earlier in the evening. Complex over Nebraska, Kansas, also Texas, and off the Carolina coast. The watch morning map from last evening, we had a severe thunderstorm watch that was in effect through the early morning hours in northeast Iowa into Wisconsin, fog advisory in Kentucky, flash flood watch in Wisconsin, and some heat issues across the middle part of the country down to the southeast, where they're not going to get very much rain around Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana over the next five days, while over the northern tier of the country, one to three inches, including parts of Iowa, and this is through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock.